We I had niggas like yeah. Pimpster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Luchi, Pookie, Big Chief. You know, that's really like, that's who I looked up to on some yeah. daddy shit. Because Chief business. was talking that talk, but he was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was really active. Shout out to Chief. You know Chief what I'm saying? Bitch too, if like. Chief the nigga that's gonna pull up on your Maserati, I got them CDs in the trunk, Greg. Drink with your motherfucking boy, man. You know what I'm talking about? The first time ever, we got somebody straight out that motherfucking Triple D on the show, man. You know what I'm talking about? Cocaine Carter. What's good, baby? Hey, what's happening? Where I'm at? You know what I'm saying? Say, man, you know, we're going to start off with this right here, man. You Monday, drink with your boy. everybody taking their ass to Dallas. You know why they going to Dallas Monday, huh? What y'all going to Dallas for? Oh, you don't even know? Mm-mm. Okay, so money's a big eclipse. So what you running to Dallas for? Oh, you ain't paying attention to that? Well, the Dallas got an eclipse every goddamn day. What you going out there for? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas saying the world going to end Monday, though. Y'all ain't watching that? That ain't where you going to die at. That ain't where you going to die at, huh? Hell no. Nah. Well, God said time for you to go. It's no you going to go. go for nah, I don't care if you in Africa. Yeah, square business. What he say? Hey, man, you did your part. Yeah. You go. Yeah, square business. Hey, man. man. Square business, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna run to the D. Yeah, they saying they run into the D. Nigga wasn't gonna make it back. You know what I'm talking about? So shit, man, what's up, man? What's been up with you, man? Man, I've been in album mode. Grinding. Square business. Yeah, you know, it's time to tell them their story, man. They've been watching. They didn't they didn't understand, so now it's time to make them understand. You got a hell of a story, man. You know what I'm saying? Your story kind of similar to mine. When we uh going down to the Huntsville and all that old kind of shit, you know. Shout what I'm out T about? TDC man, them yeah, boys down there yeah, two buddy, for man. one, what, eating what? twice a day. Yeah, but so I don't even want to go into childhood. I want to go into Cocaine Carter two years before he went to the penitentiary. I was on South Beach, Miami, Florida, selling my first mixtape out the trunk of a Jaguar. Square business. Square business. Getting some real independent $20 shit. $20 a pop. Real independent shit. Yeah. Yeah. Big bro say, hey, we ain't even gonna drop that hoe at home. We're gonna take that bitch out of town and see what he do. Yeah, yeah. Nobody in the city heard it yet. First motherfuckers heard it was in Florida. And we saw it out. We went to Miami with 5,000 CDs. Yeah, cut that motherfucking fan off, though. Now I came home with none. Yeah. So what, what, uh, so you on your independent grind, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't got no 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 deal or nothing, or uh, what you trying to search for, or you like, fuck a deal, you get money. I ain't gonna lie, this time, I was like, I need a deal. Yeah. I need a deal, I'm tired of hustling. What year was this? It was 2006. Oh, six, god damn. I was two years out of high school, a year and a half out of college. Yeah. And I was like, <coughs> I'm watching niggas take off, and I'm like, damn, bro. I can do this shit. My brother like, we can do this shit. So shit, and we was on the block already hustling, just getting it stacking. We was like, let's put it to use. So shit, we, we all went in, got a house. We started with Magic Studio. Yeah. I don't think niggas even know about that. Magic Studio, before we was on Pro Tools. I didn't get on Pro Tools till I came home, no cap. Yeah. So we went and got the studio equipment. We realized that shit in the club don't sound right. We got tired of these niggas trying to tax us for studio time. With some shit, you, I know how to press a damn button. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Shit, easy it's in the easy in the motherfucker yeah. to press a button. So shit, we went and got what you supposed to have. You know, the big boy shit. Yeah. We went and got a bigger house. You know what I mean? And uh, shit, we made history. Yeah. Yeah, we made history. That we did what we did out of trap house. So shit, what to who you was tapping in with out there? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. let me say this. Let me say, first, first let me say this. Fuck that. Who you was influenced by? Up there in Dallas, like I was. I'm My from Dallas H-Town. influence. Yeah, like I'm gonna give you an example. I'm talking about. I'm from H-Town. I'm from Mo City. When I first wanted to rap and all that shit, I was influenced by street military, Pharaoh, had there, all that little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like who, who? It wasn't no. I don't like when people get on platforms. Be from the hood. You had your opinion. Everybody got their opinion, but I don't like the shit when they be like. Oh yeah, Tupac was my worst kind. We, we fuck with Pac, but who was the niggas in the in your in the town, man, doing it? Like, cause that's what we look up to. We look up to our. Well, we had world, niggas like world. Pimpster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Lucci, Pookie, Big Chief. You know that's really like that's who I looked up to on some yeah. daddy shit. Because Chief was talking that talk, but he was yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really active. 
Shout out to Chief. You know what I'm saying? Too. Right. Chief, the nigga that's going to pull up on your Maserati. I got them CDs in the trunk, Gray. Yeah. <laughs> he got the trunk of those. Yeah. But then you pull up and you see the Bentley in front of the trap and he got five out of sex in him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was my motivation when on some Dallas shit, you know. So you, so you, you uh, influence Chief and all this and that. You rapping, you doing your thing. What didn't trigger the decision to say, "Fuck the streets"? I'm finna stay ten toes down for this rap and just mash the gas like that. Man, I'm a street nigga, bro. I had one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. And you know, it wasn't until he got hit. You realize you can't. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pick one. Yeah. But when I was in it, like in it, no, when you in it, when you in it and you really in it and you motion with it and you really in it doing what you're doing, yeah. It's like, shh, I can't see rap money looking better. I'm getting this every day. That's what I've been You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know that rap check, it's gonna take a minute to get that. That's royalties and publishings and, yeah, yeah maybe I don't get in a junk ass deal, you know what I'm saying? I know for yeah. real, if I go outside, I'm gonna get that and what I, you know what I'm saying? And some. Yeah.